Hey there, this is Angie Monko, life coach for intuitive women leaders. And today I have another tip for you to be an inner leader, and that is to develop a growth mindset. I remember um, this saying that we're either growing or we're dying. And it's, it's really true. A long time ago, when I started dating my husband, I made a decision that it was a conscious decision that, you know, growth is extremely important to me because I'm always learning. I'm always seeking information. We can be taken too far, but I just made a decision that growth was very, very important to me. And so that would make him uncomfortable at times, right? But if he was committed to me and if I was committed to him, it would be fine. We'd both grow together. And that's the case. That That is what's happened. And, you know, to me, the alternative is far worse than making someone uncomfortable because we change. And that alternative is self-betrayal and living a life of regret and disappointment. Um, so it's just super, super important that you develop this growth mindset. Let me see. Oh, yeah. One of the downsides of this is that people will leave you and you will leave people. And for many of us who have abandonment trauma, that is alarming. And yet, if you think about it, do you really want somebody as part of your inner circle that you have to wear a mask with all the time? You know, it takes a lot of energy to maintain a mask. So, <clears throat> so how do you develop a growth mindset? One thing, I'll just give you one tip for today, and that is to be intentional about learning something new. Keep your mind open to learning something new. And maybe that's listening to a podcast that you enjoy. I mean, it should be something that you enjoy, that you really uh, are intrigued about. Um, <clears throat> or you could have a book and that you read maybe five minutes a day from that book. Again, one that you're interested in. So that's my tip for today on how to keep that growth mindset strong. Thank you so much. Take care.